Hey friend, John here, and in this video I want to share with you how I play Blue Jean Blues as recorded by ZZ Top on guitar. Now this song is an awesome example of a slow minor blues. We're going to be in the key of B minor, so let's get straight into it here. The intro starts off with this little walk up. It goes... to the groove there. So what this is, is starting on the seventh fret of the fifth string, we're going to walk up seven, eight, nine. Now here I went index, middle, and then I scooted that middle finger up because after this we're going to go do this little pinch, okay? So what I did there was play the ninth fret on the fifth string and also the ninth fret on the first string, and I use hybrid picking, which Billy Gibbons does this all the time. You know, he grabs notes with his other fingers, so that would be a pinch there. Pick and fingers together. And then you go into this groove, which goes. And that's the third fret of the low sixth string to the open fifth string and then a B minor chord. So that's the intro and I'm going to walk you through the rest of this tune, but I want to give you something that's really going to help you out with learning to play like Billy Gibbons and jamming blues songs like this. What it is is a blues scale guide that I put together that shows you the five easiest and fastest ways to play the blues scale and start jamming anywhere on the neck. You can get this completely for free while it's still available. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash bluescales and you can download that as my gift to you. So after this intro, we go to this B minor chord. And that brings us to the three chords that you need to know to play this song. So let me show you those. This B minor here is from the fifth string down. Two, four, four two if you want to borrow all the way there. And sometimes live, I notice this live, he plays a B minor 7, which is a little jazzier. That is basically just removing that pinky finger. But B minor 7 or B minor will both work. I th I'm pretty sure on the original it's B minor like that. So. It's one note different, you know, it doesn't really matter. So <laughs> from there, you go to the E minor chord. Now, there's a few ways you can do this. You can play the open E minor, open, two, two, open, open, open. Or you could also take that same B minor and move it up to the seventh fret. And that's gonna give you an E minor. It's gonna be from the fifth string down. Seven, nine, nine. Now with this chord, you can play the low E. All right, now the last chord, we've got the B minor, which would be the one chord, the E minor, which would be the four chord, and then the last chord is F sharp major, and that's the second fret of the low E, fourth fret, fourth fret, third fret, second fret, second fret. Now, he plays the B minor and the E minor. He doesn't fully play the F sharp major on the recording. You just hear this line. Right, which is really just the first, it's like a power chord there. So you can add the full chord or you can just play the lick, which we're gonna cover in a second. So you've got the three chords. You've got the B minor, the E minor, and the F sharp, which again are the one, four, and five chords in the key of B minor in this slow minor blues. So the other thing about this song is it's in a six, eight time signature. So we're gonna be counting one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Right, so we've got that sort of six, eight feel to it 
which is so great for a slow blues, but it can be hard to do, right? A lot of players, you know, they want to play fast, they want to play up tempo, but really getting good at a slow blues is is a difficult thing. So here we're playing that third fret of the low E, open A string, B minor, and that's going to create the groove. So we're going to go four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to do this four times once the uh, form starts, meaning the singing comes in. Okay, then we're gonna go. Okay, then we go to the four chord there, and what that is, is that little lead in is the second fret of the low E to E minor. And again, you can go here or up to the bar chord. You know, if you don't want a bar, just play easy E minor. If you wanna keep the bars going, go like this. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, twice there. And then you go back to the B minor groove, right? It's a little walk up there. G, A, B. All right, now one of the unique things about this song is it's a 12 bar blues like form. It's based off that, but it actually is a 20 bar blues. So let me explain what I mean. What they do is they take Imagine a 12 bar blues, okay? You got all 12 bars right here. And you take the, the final four bars and you just cut those off. So you have the first eight, okay? And then what you do is you double the length of every chord in the first eight bars. So what would that give you? It would give you 16 bars. And then you take just the final four bars, not doubled of a 12 bar blues and add that on and you've got a 20 bar blues. So that's one of the unique things that they did on this song. So it's like, it's still based off that 12 bar. It's got these common things, but the first part of it is like doubled and then the rest is the same. So the more familiar you become with that 12 bar blues, the more you're gonna be able to start identifying these different progressions and how so many songs take that, but they just put a little twist on it. They do their own thing with it. And that's cool. Then you, you could write your own song. You could do this and, and come up with your own blues as well. So after this, we, we play the E minor two times and then back to the E minor two times. Okay, then we hit the turnaround. Here we're going to play this. F sharp. starts okay so what I did here was play the third fret of the low E that's G to F sharp okay this is like the five chord we're just gonna play F sharp then C sharp fourth fret of the fifth string F sharp fourth fret on the fourth string okay so one two three four five six one two Four, five, six. Then we do this little turnaround. D, D, D. Then back to the first part of the groove. So that's second fret, fifth fret, back to the second fret. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the last four bars that aren't doubled in length. So you've got two bars of F sharp, two, three, four, five, and then two bars of B minor. All right, so let's put it all together. We're gonna play all 12 bars of this. Get set and I'll count us in. Now remember, we're gonna come in on a pickup. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Okay, so we're coming in on four with that G, A, B minor, that walk up. Get set, here we go. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Second time, we're gonna do this four times. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. 
go to E minor. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Back to B minor. on B minor. So have fun putting together this awesome slow minor blues. Now what I recommend doing is practicing it along with the recording and that's going to help you get the groove and be able to listen to the drums and how the progression all comes together because you're just going to be repeating that over and over through the song. Now next I'm going to make a separate video that goes into more of the lead stuff. There's a lot of really great blues licks that Billy Gibbons plays in the key of B minor. So I'm gonna make a separate video diving more into lead. Focus on this rhythm. Now to help you get ready for that lead video, be sure to grab my Blues Scales PDF guide because this is actually the primary scale that Billy Gibbons uses in this song. He, he's in the key of B minor, so it would be the B minor blues scale. But I wanna show you the five easiest and fastest ways to start jamming this on the neck. Just go to johnmcclennan.com com slash blues scales and you can download that right now completely for free while it's still available i also left a link below this video so hope you enjoy that as my gift to you as always thanks for watching thanks for listening and for more blues guitar check out this video next